Listen to this. Do you hear that? That's 11 frames per second. And this is the new Fuji X-T2 with the booster grip. I'm one of the very few people that got a production unit of this camera about a week ago. And I'm here now doing what I do best, testing cameras and environments that challenge it on Red Point, Greenland. It's on some fjord somewhere, and it's like incredible. Take a look behind me. Take a look over here. We have icebergs. We have slot canyons. Amazing place. But I've been using this camera now for a little over a week, and I don't get excited too often. Well, maybe I do if you guys have watched my videos before, but I'm very excited about this camera. I've loved some of the Fuji cameras in the past, but this one is extremely exciting. If there's a company that's listened to photographers, it's Fuji. Let me go over a few of its quick features for you. Number one, this is a 24 megapixel APS C size X-Tran chip camera with 14 frames per second in electronic shutter mode and 11 frames per second with the booster grip on. And it's just an incredibly fast focus system. Combine the fast focus with the high frame rate, it's truly amazing. What is even more amazing now is Fuji was able to put five different modes of continuous autofocus tracking on this camera. And to work with that and some of the long lenses and be able to hold focus without blackout, or what I should say very small unnoticeable blackout in the viewfinder, is quite an achievement. Fuji has really listened to photographers. First off, the controls for this camera are so simple. You look down at the top and you know your ISO, you know your shutter speed, you know your exposure compensation. S-stop is controlled on the ring of the camera. Brilliant. By switching to A, I can go to aperture priority. A on ISO, I can go to automatic ISO. And the same for shutter speed. If I'm on all three A's, it's like the P system on some of the traditional DSLRs. Of course, what I've done for most of my shooting here, specifically because I'm shooting off a boat, or I'm shooting action in the field, is I've set my f-stop to f8, I've set my ISO to auto, and then I set my shutter speed for whatever speed is right for the subject I'm shooting. And in many cases, I'm shooting at 1,000, 1,500, or two thousandths of a second. So I wanted to be able to catch icebergs from moving zodiacs and moving boats. Using this camera on the rear screen is very easy. The viewfinder is super, super bright. And just the way I can hold the grip either this way and or vertically works so super well. I've got two SD card slots. Right now I'm using one for RAW and one for JPEG. An incredibly easy menu system with a quick menu selection. The ability to have a vertical screen or tilt it out for horizontal. Bottom line is no matter what I've thrown at this camera on this trip, it's performed. It's very hard to describe the image quality coming off of this because it's extremely good. And I've been using this with the 100 to 400 millimeter lens, which is an image stabilized lens. My filmmaker and partner, Chris Sanderson, who's behind the camera, was using it also. And it gives a 600 millimeter reach equivalent. And the IS is so incredible that from the ship we're on, we can actually photograph icebergs from half a mile, quarter mile away with great stability. And at 11 frames per second, it just delivers. Also, the quality of the image I'm getting at high ISOs, up to 12,800, is amazing. For a lot of what I've done, I have set the shutter speed to two thousandths of a second, F8, and let the automatic ISO work its wonders, and I've had amazing photographs. You'll see them in the review and the video, but it's really, really fun. So this is a preliminary field report I wanted to let you know how excited I am, what I'm seeing with this camera, and why it's part of my arsenal. So if you're considering it, stay tuned. We'll have more in-depth images and more in-depth review of my experience with it. But we want to get this up. It's Photokina time. Let you see what I've been doing with the Fuji X-T2 and why I'm enjoying it so much. I'm going to go back to taking some more pictures here in Greenland. And I'll see you soon on the Luminous Landscape.